Hi, my name is Alexandria Couch, and for this project I'll be using paper scraps, glue, scissors, some cheap craft paint, and some drawing utensils. Let's get started. I started off by creating a base for my flower by tracing a circle on cardstock and then cutting it out. I then cut a small strip to glue to the back that will provide a slot to slide a pipe cleaner or string through so I can hang it however I like. I create a stencil for my petals out of the same piece of cardstock, making it long and thin enough at the end so that I can glue it to the base. Now I can use this stencil to trace and create identical petals from my scrap paper. I'm a painter and printmaker who works primarily in mixed media. I collect a lot of paper scraps to collage into my work and each piece of paper has its own history and memory attached to it. Some of the coolest ones are given to me by my family members and friends. I add a little paint onto this petal here to give it some extra pop. Looks like I have enough for the first layer here and so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fold these just a little bit to give them some depth just folding down the middle and then doing a little creasing on the back and then I'm going to glue my first one down adding a little dot of glue onto the base and then pressing the flower petal in and then holding it for a couple of seconds. I'm going to repeat this process for the rest of the flower petals as well. As I finish the first layer, I set it to the side and begin to work on the next. As I cut petals, I fold them and then begin to layer them up in whatever way appeals to me before gluing them down. I like things to be a little mismatched with a lot of contrast between them and for me it signifies celebrating the differences between people and their interests or even celebrating different parts of myself. I like the idea of differences coming together to make something whole and new. Here I'm adding some oil pastel and I'll be adding some paint to this next one here just to decorate some more of the petals. Nothing too detailed, just little touches of color to give them some more pop. I continue to cut petals and glue them down and I start to make the petals on this final layer a bit shorter so they add depth to the middle of the flower. You can see here also that I'm preparing that final layer by cutting the pieces short and gluing and clipping them together. Uh, I found this way to be easiest so that I kind of had a, a separate flower base to glue down toward the end while allowing the other layers that I had built up to dry a bit more. Here, I'm just gluing down the final layer and then 
making sure that it's going to be held down and secure. I add a little bit of pressure to the middle there and then I begin to fluff the layers of the petals. And I make some extra petals to fill in any gaps that I see as well. I use this time to add some details on the petals that I thought could use um, a little more decoration. I thought they were a little plain. So I, uh, I use this marker here to add some doodles onto this particular petal so that they're equally vibrant to their, their fellow petals. I'd like to note that you could do this before or after you glue them down. For me, sometimes I just prefer to do it at the end because you can't tell what a piece needs uh, sometimes until the very end. So again, it's, it's nothing too detailed, but uh, just something fun to brighten them up a bit. And there you have it. This is my flower. I hope you enjoyed making this project with me. Thank you for allowing me to show you how I bloom.